We got sitting down in the hot seat. So let's take a seat. We got This is still round one, right? Probably. Because we we got fifty entrants today, forty four, Some, something like that. Something? Yeah. We got we got abnormally like more than C usual. C Caleb versus Karma. Karma. Let's get it. Marth versus Pac Man. Interesting seeing a Pac Man in New York City. That's not Sinji. Always find that interesting. Yeah, it's like him in like packaged fruits. Yeah. And um. Uh, yeah, I know. Pa I know packaged fruits. Yeah. But the thing Edwin. Is, the, oh, that's Edwin. The other one. Yeah. When I think of Edwin, I think of Sonic. He plays all the third party main mascots, you know. Now, what's interesting about this is that, like, Marth versus Pac-Man. So this matchup is literally just, if Marth can get in, he'll just go ham on Pac-Man. But that, that's the whole trouble, just trying to get in through all the different projectiles that Pac-Man's going to be dishing out. He's got the fire hydrant. He's got all the different bonus fruit. And I know that sometimes I've seen, like, Marth and Lucina actually take the bonus fruit from Pac-Man if he catches it. And then they just hold on to it for a while, so it deletes one of Pac-Man's options. Or several of Pac-Man's options, honestly. And when he has the projectile in hand, it allows him to go for Dancing Blades, for instance. Dancing Blade being a rather unsafe option to just like throw out there because if it's you can be heavily punished. But Pac-Man, you know, his entire stick revolves around that bonus fruit, so it could be a good strat. Karma's not really gonna go for it right now. He's sitting at 86% already, taking a lot of damage off of these projectiles. Hydrant being spawned again can mess up with the opponent's spacing. You saw Karma deleting the hydrant as fast as possible. Going for a back air. Caleb was just trying to create some distance there. Got the back air immediately start going for fruit. Wanted that spike into forward air. That would have a uh, forward smash. That would have tipped her. It would have been deadly. 82%. Caleb's going to have to be careful. You also notice that Caleb, uh, Karma, opted to delete the hydrant a little bit differently there. Ooh. Try to counter the blast zone. Actually does not work. <laughs> <laughs> the blast zone will not kill your opponent yeah, yeah. if you counter it. Mm. Try hate, again. Hate to see it happen, man. Yeah. Okay, nice catch on that air dodge. Now, the, the, depending on what Marth goes for against the Hydra, you can send it at different trajectories. Like, you see him uh, ending it with a down tilt, sometimes you can end it with a jab. It'll send it at different, like, angles. Like, you can kind of keep the uh, Pac Man mixed up a bit. Here, power pellet. This is a free Trump, free forward smash. Oh, good. Well, I mean, that was slick. If anything, I'll give Caleb that was slick. He like kept fainting that he's gonna go for the ledge. He was trying to force Karma to throw out the F smash early, which he did successfully. But that Trump's gonna be able to do it. He went for the down air of all things, but <laughs> still kill off the side. Here we go. Pretty pretty even game so far. Karma trying to bring it back, but he's eating F the amount of damage from Caleb. Get that hydrant again. Trying to poke it with the down tilt just to get it out of there. Very low committal move. You can do it from far away, so Pac-Man has a little bit of trouble trying to get the punish afterwards. Water got pushed away a bit. Got the cherry out of the back. That's something that Pac-Man can do. A lot of players uh, become troubled with. Pac-Man's love to like roll in and go for the immediate up B out of shield. Just to like, mess up with their opponents. Put the trampoline right below them. Dash attack has very little cooldown. He can immediately go for a forward tilt afterwards. Stop charging that forward smash, but he is sitting at 114. Caleb is barely taking a scratch this stock. He was a little bit too high in the air for that build to actually lend, lead into a kill move. So opted to go for the aerial attack instead. Rare, good stuff. Caleb trying to play a spacing game. Again, three down tilts is the uh, name of the game. If you were that hydra, he's sitting at 150%, but a mark with full rage can be scary underneath the right circumstances. Let's see if Karma can try to find an opening. For a grab. Trying to roll away. That was an opportunity right there. Did not expect the forward tilt. I think he was opting to think about it going for a pivot grab. But now the key is coming out. Large hitbox threw it the wrong direction, but probably wouldn't have hit Karma anyways. Okay, now Caleb's in his bad spot. He's on the Smashville platform. Karma got a little overzealous. Jumped right behind him. Got caught by the forward tilt. Sent into the blast zone. Caleb taking away game numero one. Numero one, huh? Whatever, man. <laughs> what, what are you trying to say? Number Uno. Mm. I love that card game. Yeah. Did you know they came out with the sequel? Yes. It's called Dose. That's not a joke. It actually, th there's a game called Dose. I kind of believe it. I'm I'm ashamed. When someone told me that, I thought it was a joke. Like I thought they were trying to make like a terrible pun, but then like it exists. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, you want to play later, like some Dose? <sighs> Money match. Dose match? Put, put, some, money Dose on, money put some money match? on the line, you know? Like, you know, people play poker for money, we could play uh, Uno for money. Mm. Yeah. 
Or draw fours actually mean like more than the world. Lilac Cruz, game numero two. I almost said numero two. I had to numero stop myself. two. <laughs> Hell yeah. So we got the Lilac Cruise stage counter pick. Now, I, I can understand this counter pick uh, from Lucina. Got those little platforms to play with without having to go to Battlefield, as well as the tilting of Lilac Cruise can kind of mess up with Pac Man's projectile game. Yeah, I mean, the ban was Triplats, so it kind of makes sense. Yeah. This car, um, Lucina, Martina can always like take good advantage of like the those low platforms. There, it's just like, oh, I can just short hop or just catch her landing with something, some pressure. Very good, very good. Yeah, and we got also got the Lucina counter pick coming out rather than Marth. And I, a lot of people would rather go for Lucina over Marth in case of like they don't feel like uh, on point with their spacing, for instance, and they just want to like hit them raw with a forward smash. Mm -hmm. Or like the entire sword has the same amount of knockback. And that's one of the reasons why you want to, would want to go for that. Kind of allows for like a little, a little bit faster, more risky gameplay. Instead of having to rely on like perfect spacing against a character who's trying to be slippery. Ooh. There we go. It's the second time we've seen Karma go for a Trump and successful with it. Yeah, Karma has a pretty good understanding of like doing stage control, not trying to overextend where he doesn't need to, and just like going for the basics, man. Like even the fact like with the Marcina, uh, with the Lucina pick, you know, it's just the fact it's like, all right, let me just go for consistency. Uh, I can take, I have control of those low platforms. These slants will actually give me some slide that makes things like extra safe on shield on retreat, and uh, yeah. Just like make him come to me. If I have the lead, I'm gonna just keep it. I'm definitely noticing that from Karma because, like, I believe in the previous game he was playing a, a, a aggressive. Mm -hmm. He wanted to get in there. He wanted to try to just like break Pac-Man's zones the entire time. And in the process, wasn't realizing how much damage he was taking. And now that you said he has the lead, he is definitely not even like doing anything. Yeah. Actually, he just stood there and ate that apple. What is it? When it comes to like playing uh, aggressive versus Pac-Man, like most of the time, that's what Pac-Man wants you to do mm -hmm. because it's so much easier to uh, slip up on something. And because of the like the way Pac-Man is always trying to do setups and like keep reserved, he's going to have more advantage if that uh, exchange goes south for you. So like he wants you to do that. Like Unless you know you're going to do everything right, uh, oof, you know? Yeah. That was kind of a scary uh, pack pellet. I thought maybe the Hydra was going to try to catch Karma. I mean, I don't think there was going to be any situation where if he just held shield, which he did, uh, he'd be <laughs> fine. You know, it's just like, yeah, I have a full shield. We good. All right, doing that is bad. That's another thing that, like, uh, Pac-Man Pac -Man love wants. it. Yeah, he's like, oh, you stopped paying attention to me, but you still need to do a strong enough hit to actually hit the Hydrant. Um, you Kale know I'm here, right? Kale didn't really get a capitalization on that. Yeah, though. this is true. Oh, that jab. I think he was waiting for an air dodge. So like he could have followed that up with an aerial. Maybe. Ducking underneath the Hydra and have the dash attack coming your way. The option select. Wow, that was pretty uh, lingering. Yeah. The, the sourest. That was a Sour Patch Kid hitbox. All puckered up. Yeah. I right, see him at 88%. I like to challenging him with the shield breaker just in case he was going to hold shield. So Again, need... the apple keeps catching him off guard. Yeah, I guess he's just not thinking about that in terms of, wow, all right, you I mean, know what, never mind. Jab I was going to say, not safe on shield. he's not thinking of that as like the area of effect of like what he needs to worry about. He's just like, oh, okay, if I'm at, if I have the low ground, I should be fine because I'm used to doing that as, as Lucina. It's just like, yeah, I'm going to juggle them. That's the thing. And he's just like, Akuma Fireball, vitamin, whatever vitamins are in apples, go. C? Is it? There's vitamin C in apples. I, I mean, mean, oranges are known, oranges for, are known for it. Yeah. yeah, but apples also have vitamin C. Okay. Yeah. All right. Vitamin C. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So like, game, game It's three. got other stuff too, but. Yeah. Vi vitamin A? I think. Oh, let me look up nutrition facts on an apple. Yeah. This is very important. Very. Hold on. Let me. Is that the right one? No, actually, no, I'm not gonna do it. Let me just look up oh, apple nutrition <laughs> facts. But so on game three, we're going back to Smashville, which you know, understandable. Uh, there's not really like this stage is <sighs> weird because yeah, like primarily vitamin C. Okay, cool. This it's stage is weird though. because like if you want, like I totally get this as a Pac-Man counter pick <laughs> because it's just like. I'm gonna have, I can chill on this platform, but I'm still moving, which allows me to do setups. And like, at the same time, if I are in an edge guard situation where I'm trying to recover, half the time the platform's got my back. Yeah. You know, that's cool. It's actually gonna be kind of a weird transition to ultimate, depending on what the stage rule set ends up being. 
Yeah. Because you saw it with the hazardless off the platform to stay center. I, I look, uh small tangent, I am pro all hazards off. Just, Same. Just hundred percent. Keep it simple. Anyway. Uh I so something that I like about Karma's play is that he is very reserved. Like you see he's not like committing to movement and yeah. that's really important like he sees like any time that like caleb is sitting center stage he's just like all right i'm gonna walk i'm gonna walk up to him and then like try and bait a move or something and that's what you want to do with lucina like yeah because she has like a really fast walking speed one of the best in the game yep oh Ooh. you saw her looking for that spike i feel like he could have reacted faster to that mm. and it would have made a better situation maybe would have led to a kill okay we, we see caleb actually reacting to the trump that time i don't know how many times i've seen karma trump him Okay, Karma. I think he might be taking it a little bit slower just to so he can like be in reaction for yeah. the apple because he's still like kind of watching out for it. But he's like, breathing. Well, yeah. But he's not committing to anything. Just the jump. No. Oh my God. He rolled in. That was very scary. Oh, <laughs> they got set up so Yo. hard. But we're living. I love. Right. I love it when players know their characters' tricks. It's always slick. Yeah, definitely. Try to get the punish. Like dash attack. If you get crossed up by Pac-Man's dash attack, sometimes it's just like you can't even go. Yeah, it. it's, thing, it's one of those moves that like you have to know the timing of it, yeah. and you have to know like if it's gonna cross you up or not. Because if it's gonna cross you up, well, actually, if it's gonna cross you up, you have to like roll out of there. And there's a chance that the up will catch your roll anyway, because the trampoline comes out frame one. Can we talk about how wacky that kill was though? Like he just threw the apple. I think he was just throwing it, and it just happened to the Hydra, and it happened to kill Pac-Man. Yeah. I'm saying I'm oh, 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 oh. Careful. Get back here. Yeah, saving your double jump. Woo! Woo! Karma is playing with fire. Yeah, I'm spooked. I mean, uh, he has the lead, so I think if he were, if he sticks to his game plan, he should be fine. Uh, he just needs to, like, not overextend. Because something that... Okay, so a lot of people will talk about, like, how they, they know, oh, I have the lead, and I'm not going to just... Uh, I can sit back and relax. But a lot of people will sometimes say, I have the lead. Now let me build a strong enough percent lead on the stock so in case I get messed up, I can come back with still a lead and then really play uh, campy. That's which an is like, extra credit mindset. You don't it, want that. Yeah, it's like, bro, let the hits come to you. So I, I think Karma like, went in a little bit too much, and I think there is a level of inexperience with like knowing where he can go in on Pac-Man. So he ended up getting hit by the bell and then dies for it. So... Now we have dead even percents. Ooh, Ooh. trying to go for a shield breaker again. It's, it didn't work the first time though on dash stack, so I think it, he wasn't to, expecting it. I think he's just trying to use the shield breaker because like she reels back, he's going backwards, yeah. and then it has a massive like push forward. He had the read there. Mm -hmm. Just missed, faced Ooh. it. That down tilt's gonna send it to the hydra, and this is looking very bleak for Karma. Okay, going back to neutral. He's got the bell. So I think the funny thing about this is Karma, we saw that he had issues with the apple before. And Caleb, I think, realized he's like, okay, he's kind of adjusted to the apple. Time for projectile time, number 37. Time for a bell. Here we go. <laughs> Just run up yeah, against that's him. that's terrifying. Nothing happened. Bro, I could like totally see like Karma just thinking to himself like, okay, I don't know what that bell is. I don't even know if it's called a bell. Maybe it's a flan and I'm dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a flan. You know, when I first saw the bill, I, I, th I thought it was a backpack, honest to God. Yo, a backpack? I thought it was Yo, a backpack the first time crazy. I saw it. That would be, that's silly. Yeah, but that was 2014. Like, <laughs> I, I definitely learned by at least 2017 that it was a bell. I mean, 15, what'd I say? What's uh, up, guys? <laughs> 2019, don't worry about it. 2019. But 20, by ultimate, I'll definitely have that down. 100%. 1,000%. One, 1, definitely cake. Definitely. <laughs> what type of frosting? Makes uh, it look like that. Uh, lemon? It's a lemon meringue. Dude. Easy.